Hello everyone. It looks like some people don't realize that when you delete a file, it doesn't really disappear. I found a ton of flash drives from different yard sales in my neighborhood, and what I uncovered was pretty creepy. So today I'm going to show you how to permanently delete your files so that no one can get your information back. Let's get started. If you have a moment, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell icon to stay updated on all my latest videos. I will plug in one of the flash drives into my computer. I will open the file explorer. You can see it is completely empty. I will open my data recovery tool. We're going to be using Recova. I will select recover all files and click on next. I will specify my USB stick and click on next. All right, I've managed to recover 17 files so far. They seem to be a mix of PDF documents and some JPEG and TIFF images. Now, I'm going to recover a few files onto the desktop. I will open the folder and take a look. It appears to be a room design with a laptop and a wall frame. The folder also contains a results slip of someone. Oh no, I can't show you this. Flash drive number two. Let's see what we've got here. You can clearly see the flash drive is empty. Let me run the same recover utility again and see what we can discover. Again, I will specify all the files and specify the location of the USB stick. It says no files were found. Would you like to scan again with deep scan enabled? I'll click on yes. This will take several minutes, so I'm gonna fast forward it. Here we go, I got so many files. Some were unrecoverable. Others were in a poor state and some were recoverable. I'm gonna recover some files from this flash drive and see what we can discover. I will open the folder and take a look. It appears to be a picture of a lady and some Nigerian music mixtapes. I'll find time and listen to the mixtapes. So how is all this possible? When you press delete on a file, you're not really erasing it. You're just telling your computer to forget where it is. But you can also use a program to help the computer remember where that file is. When you delete files, your computer shows you have more space, but the files are still there. It looks like the space is free because the computer can now put new data over the old files. Until that happens, the old file is just sitting there waiting to be replaced or restored. All right, so how do you actually delete files to make sure that they're indeed gone and nobody can recover them? Now there are lots of utilities out there. Some are free, some are paid for. We're gonna be using this free utility, Permadelete. I will put the link to Permadelete in the description below. Permadelete is a file shredding app that makes sure the files you delete can't be recovered. Let me show you how this free utility works. I will open the flash drive again. I will copy these documents on the desktop onto the flash drive. Let me take a look at the document files so that I can know the difference between them. I'm going to delete document 21 without using the utility and then use Permatily to get rid of document 13 and document 10. I will right click on the documents. I will select show more options and select send to and click on Permatily. You can set the number of shreds to any number from the list. I will select three from the list. You can see clearly that the flash drive is empty. I will run the recovery software again to see if I can recover all three documents. This time around, I will select documents because we are looking for documents and not any other files. I will specify the location of my USB stick and click on OK. So 
Since we didn't use Permatalete, I was able to recover Document 21. I will go ahead and recover it onto the desktop. Now, I will run a deep scan to see if I can recover documents 10 and 13. I'm going to fast forward this process because you've seen it before. I could not recover documents 13 and 10, but I was able to recover document 21. That's basically how this utility works. I'll include the download link in the description for you. Also, let me know if you want me to check out similar tools for mobile phones, since many of us sell our old devices and want to keep our info safe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, hit the subscribe button so you're notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.